Good morning, Springs of Bonita. We welcome you on this Wednesday prayer on the porch. And uh, we're, t- we're coming to you uh, live right now, if you're watching this live, um, from the ministry house. And what a beautiful day to be outdoors, to be outside. Love this, uh, this, this coolness, this, this briskness of the weather. Uh, for those of us who live here year round, we enjoy a little, a little coolness um, from time to time. But we welcome you today. And this is our time where we gather together to, uh, to pray over the needs. And uh, I asked Angelia if I could be part of this today because I um, wanted to give you something that the Lord's laid on my heart. <clears throat> um, so I want to be able to share a couple things with you. You're wondering why I'm dressed up. Um, I am um, going to uh, officiate a funeral after this. And so uh, nobody from our church, the funeral home called and asked if we can help this family. So I'm um, looking forward to the, of doing that. Uh, she was 84. Her name was Dorothy. And she went on to be with the Lord. She loved the Lord. So it's going to be a, a great time of celebration with her family. So be praying for us and that family there. Hey, I wanted to come on because there's some things that um, we want to do um, this year. And that is to, to grow our spiritual walk. And uh, we've given out, we, what we're wanting to do is have our church um, get on a Bible reading program for one year. And to help you do that, we put something together called SOAP, S-O-A-P. We've done this off and on, but we really want to be intentional about this because I really feel like in my heart, um, as a, and, uh, and those of us here on the staff, we want to give you tools in your hands to be able to grow your spiritual walk in 2021. Man, did we come out of 2020, the chaos. We're still feeling some of that now. And um, and those of you that are joining us from up north, you're down here now, enjoying the, uh, uh, the, 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 the sun, the, the winters down here. But we want to ask you maybe to join us to grow your spiritual walk. Uh, your, your spiritual life. And one of the ways to do that is not only church attendance, which is on Sundays, but also to get into God's Word every single day. So here we are. We put together a one-year reading plan. And please pick this up. It's in your bulletin. You get it every week, and you can cross it off. It's, it's not too late to join us. We're on January 6th, and uh, we would like for you to intentionally begin to get your Um, your eyes, your mind every single day on God's Word because this is the only thing that's going to help us survive the troubles and the crisis that we find ourselves in. We get our um, eyes focused on everything around us, the news and the craziness and COVID, which is all real stuff. But we know that God has a bigger plan than that. And a lot of times we find ourselves in panic mode when we should be praying. We should, instead of worrying, we should be worshiping. And the only and one of the ways to do that is every day get a word from God, hear from God. And this is the way that we can do that. So I'm encouraging you. Make that part of you. I, I would encourage you to do that on, in the morning. As soon as you get up, take 10 minutes, 15 minutes, get in the word of God, get a cup of coffee, and find a place and settle down and let the Lord talk to you through his word. In fact, soap is an acronym, S-O-A-P. S stands for read the scripture. We have that for you. O stands for write down what you observe from the scripture. Take a, Get a small notebook from Walgreens and let that be your spiritual notebook there and maybe write down some things that you observe from the scripture. Um, A stands for application. How can you apply the apple of the observation so that it affects your life today. In other words, read with a pen. Whenever I read the Bible, if you look at my Bible, it's marked up. I have red highlighters, red pencil, uh, blue ink, dark ink. Read with a pen. And as you're reading through that chapter, be ready for the Holy Spirit to speak to you. And as you're reading down, if a verse stands out to you, Highlight it. Highlight the words. That's God speaking to you as you're reading His Word. And do that. And as you highlight that, you're reading with the pen and you're looking at application. What is God saying to me today from His Word? And you'll be surprised. God will speak to you. And you highlight that. And then you go back over it in your prayer time. And throughout the day, you meditate on those verses. 
you know, God spoke something to me this morning. And you just kind of let that ruminate, let that meditate and let God's word speak to you. So that's soap. It's a very good way of getting God's word in your heart. And so as your pastor, I want to see you grow spiritually. I want you to excel in, in your walk with God. So we're doing this. We're bringing the church through, uh, a Bi- through the Bible in a year. And then on January 18th, 21 days of prayer and fasting. Don't let that scare you. Um, that's another way, a spiritual discipline that we can add to growing our faith in God where we will go, um, where you will take a day if you want to, or a meal, um, however you want to do that, and you give up that food, you give up that meal, and and you get into God's Word, and you pray, and we're going to give you Um, And we're going to give you a booklet on how to do that in the next week or so. So I want you to begin to start thinking about that. In fact, Google that. Look up fasting. Jesus fasted. Moses fasted. The early church fasted. I know it's a a spiritual discipline that we don't hear a whole lot about today. But it it is great. What you do when you fast, you, you push the plate away. And you're crucifying this flesh. You're denying this flesh that food. And then the Bible says when Jesus was fasting, the devil tried to tempt him in the middle of his fast by saying, hey, you're the son of God. Turn these stones into bread. And Jesus says, it is written, man should not live by bread alone, but by the word of God. So if you want to grow your spiritual life, when you fast, you are crucifying your flesh and you're feeding your, your, your spiritual man with this word that you normally would be feeding your flesh and you're given a chance for God to begin to speak to you, grow in you. You know, in fact, Jesus, one time, the disciples couldn't cast the devil out. And, and Jesus came and did that and the disciples came to him and says, Lord, why couldn't we cast the demon out? of this person, of this lady here, you know, that was demon possessed. And Jesus says, this time, this kind comes only but by prayer. And then he used the word fasting. So fasting has the way to get us closer to God. It kind of opens up the communication line between you and God. And it's a great way to add to your spiritual growth and your discipline. So these are the things that we want to do. And we'll bring more, um, we'll give you more details on that. But as your pastor, I want you to grow spiritually. I'm your spiritual coach. I'm your life coach. The staff here. This is what we do. God's called us to, to, to pastor you. And so we do that through teaching of the Word of God and encouraging you in your faith and in your walk with God. So let's get on a Bible program for the year. Let's grow our faith in God. And I believe God will will, uh, honor you for that. You'll, 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 you'll you'll, You'll sense the presence of God in an awesome way. Now we want to pray. This is prayer on the porch. You know those, you know on your envelope, there's a place there for prayer request. What we do when you write that out and put that in, Tammy types all that out, and I get that sheet all typed out with your prayer request. And every morning when I go to the Lord in my prayer, I lay my hands on that, and I pray over that. Tammy faxes or emails that to a couple people in our church that's on the prayer team. So they're praying over that, those requests. So that's what we want to do today. I want to partner you with you in prayer, and whatever needs you have there... If you're, on, if you're looking at it by the computer, if you can just touch the computer, if you have your phone, just take the phone in your hand, you have it in there. And I want that, let that be a connection between you and I. The Bible says, if two or three is gathered in my name, I will be there in your midst. So we are connecting with you online, two, three of us or more, and whatever your need is, I want you to stretch your faith and let's believe, believe God. Can we pray? Let's pray together. Join me in prayer. Father, we love you. We honor you. We thank you, God. We thank you, Lord, that you are a God of the supernatural. And when the natural, when we run into dead ends in the natural, we have access to the supernatural because, God, we can tap into you. And when you come into the natural realm and you answer our prayer, and you heal our bodies, or you you, you do something in the natural that's completely impossible. 
That's called supernatural. And that gives me faith. That gives me hope. When the doctors and everybody says it's hopeless and when the situation looks impossible, we can look to you, the God who is the supernatural. And so, Lord, we pray today over these requests. I partner in prayer with my brothers and my sisters who are joining me now and that they view this later. I'm partnering with them in prayer. And God, I pray this week, move in the lives of your people and let us see things happen. Instead of us giving up, let us look up and give it to you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, we love you. Keep growing in the Lord. Don't be discouraged. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength and enjoy sunny Florida with God. We love you. We'll see you next Sunday.